Well, hey, good morning. We are in Western North Carolina this morning. It's a Sunday morning, and uh, just gonna take the sheep out, take it for a little graze. Um, we have a couple new ones um, that are pregnant, and uh, I'm gonna move them over to another uh, pasture right now, and just kind of graze them over there and get them used to um, taking that walk and moving them to places that uh, we like to have them uh, go to. Um, we have a few different pastures, and Go for a little walk here. Jasper, you ready? Come on, buddy. Let's go let the girls out. Don't hit the wire. All right, ladies. Come on, goodies. Come on. Come on, let's go. Evie. Come on, Eve. Chip, chip. Come on. Yeah, dragging around that little stuff here. Let's get rid of that. All right. Come on, ladies. This is the quick way to do it. And our oldest one, uh, she kind of guides everybody. Well, actually, you know what? Now come to think of it, Eve is not the oldest one. She was about six. But we got uh, one that's about 11 the other day. And what, one that's about four. And... Uh, so let's kind of guide them along here. See, Eve's already taking them over there. She's a good girl. All right. So Eve's got her, you can see Eve's got her lambs there. The little happy hop skipper jumpers are about three months old right now. So these are, um, we've got one pure Katahdin U and the rest are Katahdin Dorper mixes. All right. Yeah, I just mowed this the other day, but boy, it sure is coming up quick and then fertilized a couple days ago. And I usually like to use triple 15, 16, or 17. This is, um, this is triple 17, that's what they happen to have at the store. And uh, so this pasture is kind of a mix. There's a little bit of um, white clover, there's fescue, uh, some timothy. And during the winter time, I'll put uh, winter wheat and, uh, and rye, and that'll just be an annual. So there might be a little bit of rye in here. Now it'll probably be dying off as it starts to get a little bit uh, warmer for uh, uh, the year. And then it'll just have to be reseeded again. Well, hello, girls. You're like, hey, I've never been here before. So the one that's closest to me with the blue tag, that one is a pure Katahdin. So. I'll take a walk over here. You can kind of see what the sunrise is like. The leaves are just starting to come back now up in the mountain. And, uh... Whoop! Hey, you figure out there's power on that fence. <laughs> Good boy. Come on! Come on, you're all right, come. I told you stay away from that fence. Jasper, come. Good boy. <laughs> all right, well, we'll figure that out. Dogwood trees getting ready to bloom here. There's one. I'll show you here. You 
can see the dogwood here is a really beautiful flower. That's almost to the end right there. It's funny, so this is a dogwood here, this is a dogwood. And there's a couple more right here. This haven't bloomed yet. Well, we put in a uh, hot wire fence here because we've got a neighbor with uh, dogs that are threatening the livestock and threatening us and Jasper going at our guests. So it's a five wire, uh, I'd say it'd be high tensile, but it's really not. And um, a bear came through the other day and I've got the setting actually that's strong enough for elk or bear on a solar system but a bear broke through the other day right here and had this wire all bent up in here too but um, hit this with enough force to break it so anyhow getting ready to enclose the rest of this pasture here and uh, so we'll be able to keep the sheep over here and just rotate them into here not just when I'm out just walking them so well let me see if I go gather them up here come on <laughs> yeah let's uh, take a little ride over and pick them up we'll bring them back over here Jasper just got him a little scattered because he bumped the fence got himself a little zap but I'm teach him to you know respect it so he's got to learn for years he was able to just hop in the creek here but we have other creek so uh